Hello everybody, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we are not in mayhem. I was messing around after watching a video about the junk turrets. And that was done by Capo. And I had the idea that maybe we could use the junk turrets to push things off of other things. Which is where I started this whole process over here. And I slowly worked up to trying new turrets. I was trying to set them on one side and knock them over to the other. Needless to say, it wasn't turning out great. They weren't falling regularly the way I was expecting them to. So I moved over to something like this to see if I could try to knock them into, which actually turned out okay. It knocked them into the wall and they would ragdoll down. And then this, uh, as you can see, I've been taking notes and I don't, I don't know what's wrong with that sign, but it works, but not regularly. You'd still have to fight them. And this design too, uh, they don't see the plates as a path, so this design did not work. And the poles, for some reason, instead of jumping over the poles, they decided to beat on the poles. I still don't know why they do that. I just know, I don't know if this can be used for a different type of design to encourage them to beat on an area, therefore making them stand there longer. If you were using turrets or something, you wanted them to stay there and beat on stuff. That could be useful. Um... It's okay, as in they would fall, but not reliably. They would still get to me. Uh, this one I tried for it. Uh, they would fall here frequently. And these are half blocks. These are half blocks. Those are the plates. Hang on, where else did I use a different block? Those are the plates. Those are the plates. None of that worked. Uh, they would fall here, but especially the ferals, they would definitely make it across more often than not. So I moved over here. And I was trying to figure out if there was a way I could line the plates, the the half blocks, to where they would reliably fall. And, of course, that one didn't work. So, off to another design. Um, the hatches. Uh, my confusion on the hatches was at the end of the last alpha. The pathing around a hatch was different. I don't know exactly what was changed, but the pathing was definitely different. So I tried it this way. While the hatches are up, they did not see this as a viable path. They were seeing this as a viable path, path at the end of the last alpha. But now it's not. As long as they're closed, they do see it. So that is actually a way to, for now, until it gets patched out. By the way, if you're watching this, you're not allowed to tell the fun pimps I'm doing this video. Because every time somebody discovers some way of beating their game... They mod it out. They fix it. Um, anyway, uh, this way they won't actually f see this as a path. At least not the zombies I summoned. Uh, it might be a little bit different if I did ferals, because I just did regular bows on that one. Uh, somebody was asking whether or not the arrow slit was still working, and as far as I can tell, it does. Because just like when those guys, these traps right here are up, when these are here and there's no path beside them, the zombies will not come beside us. So I think the... The arrow slits are still not fixed, um, at least in this configuration. I didn't try any of the other configurations to see if any of the other sides are seen as a path, but I think this is still working as a zombie force field. And they don't see this as a path. Which, if they don't see this as a path, could you put that as a zombie force field too? I don't know. It's a possibility. I don't know if you put them side by side if they would start seeing it as a path. Anyway, then I moved over here... And this one had promise. A lot of them were falling, but a few of them were still making it. And I was like, okay, now if I make it longer, can I get them to do it more regularly? This one, still not reliable. They were still getting across. Not all of them, but some of them. So I figured I would go back to what I was doing over here. And th there's a pig on my design over there. I don't, I don't appreciate that. I wonder what you would do if you... No, okay, never mind. Anyway, um, I was wondering if I added a jump into it if that would fix it. And uh, it's flawless against the Feral Joes. I'll actually uh, bring some in so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, Joe. The... Let's bring you in and do that really quick. Well, come on. And they would get there, and they would try to make the jump, and they would constantly fall. So you can actually see what they're doing. They're kind of sliding. They're kind of doing like this little stumble thing, and they're falling in between because of the way those things are placed. But they're still seeing it as a path. 
Now, this works okay, but whenever you bring the dogs in, uh, now they're just sitting here beating on my feet. Okay. Whenever you bring the dogs in, this is where the problem is. Uh, no, no, no. You're not allowed to go anywhere. Come back over here. I'm demonstrating a thing. Okay, these guys are still making it. Those guys are still making it down the hole. Where are the dogs? I don't have the stairs over here, so they're not making it up here very fast. Uh, the dogs, especially, for some reason, they don't path very well through it. Come, come on. You can make it. And that was the problem with the dogs. They were getting over. So that was my issue there. Uh... Okay, that was my issue there. So then I came over here. If the dogs were going to make it across, I needed a place I could actually fight them. So I built it out a little bit longer and put this over here so that I could actually fight the dogs here. Plus the spider zombies. If the dogs are going to make it over, the spider zombies will too. Uh, but whenever I did it, I made it two of them so that they would have to go over two of them. Now, this is like the best one I have found so far as far as a killing corridor. There's a lot of people who use this method because they enjoy the parts of the game that aren't the horde. And this base will do... Um, let me do... Alright guys, come on over here. Alright, now this will do... And they pretty reliably... well... I don't know what he just did, but he, he... he does not count. He's an outlier. You're not allowed to get back in the line, you're stupid. I'm not even sure where you were going. But this method is actually working pretty flawlessly for the two-legged zombies. All of them fall. Now, the demos, I haven't tested this against the demos. The demos' major thing is that they explode, they're going to kill any killing corridor. Things have to eventually be upgraded to steel in order for that to work. Are you going to make it all the way? No. I was starting to wonder. Oh, and because this video is going to go up, I don't know exactly when in comparison to my other videos. Yes, I do have a mega sunburn, and right now my face is actually showing more sunburn because it is 12 at night, and I've been playing in here for a few hours trying to figure this out. So I do apologize for the lack of makeup. Um, even my lips are burnt. They're starting to peel already. And I just got the burn not long ago. So that works. Uh, let me do that. Now the issue is, is the same one I was having before. It's the dogs. And if it's the dogs, obviously the spiders are going to have a problem. Let's go ahead and spawn a whole bunch of those guys in so you can... Ah! Definitely, oh my gosh, the lag. I, I spawned in too many zombies. So, you're definitely going to see the problem with the dogs whenever... Here, let me actually get on the platform so you'll see this is a path again. Now, the dogs are falling, but they're falling because the turret right there is kind of beating on them and making them ragdoll so they finish falling. They like to sit there and beat on that first block a lot. Well, 25 dogs might be a bit much, but they're still kind of falling. It's kind of long enough for them to get across and fall. Now that particular spot right there, that worked pretty well. They didn't get stuck there at all. This method is working. It's almost a replacement for the killing corridor. I tried putting up the blocks. It is, as they say, you're, you can't path them on there anymore. It doesn't work. Are you going to make it across? You did not make it across. Okay, uh, let's do a kill all because I didn't actually test it against the zombies. I would like to see the spiders. How they react to it. That's not what I hit, but all right. Okay, that was probably a bit more than I meant to do, but this particular one, you would be inside the building anyway. I just want to see how they react to the... They look lower to the ground and a lot more crawly. Oh, and their head turning towards me is so creepy. Guys, come on. They are definitely more spider-like, that's for sure. Let's see how well they do against getting over here. Yeah, see, they're, they're pretty good about getting over here. Maybe if there's a roof over the top of the thing, it'll keep them from being able to jump as far. That's a possibility. 
There's not a roof on this thing. Uh, and they're doing the same thing that the dogs did. They're sitting down there and beating on stuff. You're gonna make it, aren't you? Nope, y'all are just gonna sit over there and beat all of that stuff. Okay, anyway, uh, before they actually fully tear everything up. So this is kind of a base that could be used early game until something better is found. Uh, Jewoodle usually does these things and I think he's wanting to surprise himself with the different mechanics of the zombies this time so he's not doing Jewoodle Park to start with. It might be something he decides to do later on. In which case, that would be awesome because this has its flaws. And I did try to fix this in other ways. This turret right here uh, does not fire very fast. Obviously this character is not specced into it so it doesn't move very fast. But I even tried putting water here to try and push the zombies and for some reason or another the zombie dogs broke the water block. The water is still not fixed. So I tried setting it here so they would fall and the zombie dogs just break the block. I don't even know how they're doing it. Uh, let's do dog and we can do look at you and do that. Did I just spawn you way over there? I probably did. I'm not used to using this. It's something that I needed to try. Come on. Anyway, I put the water there to try and see if I could use it to push him off. The turret's going crazy. Come on. And it's not really working. See, the water's already broken and it wasn't the turret. Because he did it last time before I even put the turret over there. The turret was kind of my, this is your defense against the dogs kind of thing. Uh, not, not. Okay. And I put, let's see if I can keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, let's do the whites. Let's do a couple of those. It does pretty well against those guys as well. Now this block being damaged is not a good idea, but they still have other ones to go through, but it works pretty well for these. There's something, something about their stem, what, what is going on here? Stop that. There's something about their stumbling animation that doesn't allow them to really do the side pieces and the jumping off my turret's actually getting in the way now. Okay, that's fine. They still have other blocks they have to get over. Which is good because this also adds like an extra defense. When one block goes out, your base is not completely down. It's the uneven surface and the having to jump over a block combination I think is what's really working. Come on, can you get all the way? Nope. Keep on. And he slid right off. Alright, so that is a new killing corridor. It's got to have some work done to it because it's not it's not perfect. And oh god, the game looks so much better right now. Um it does need work, like some refinement. I don't know what's missing here to help with the dogs. The turret kind of works. And if you put it on this side, it does not push them off. I tried that. For some reason or another, the turret seems to give me that to work better when you crush them, which is something I discovered over here. See, it kind of squishes them against that block, but they definitely don't slide in anymore. He booped out stuff for me. You need to stop because this poor turret can't keep up with you. But anyway, that's what I've managed to get done in a few hours, and I do apologize that this video is going up at like a weird time, and it's way outside of schedule, but I kind of wanted to share that for people who are starting up new games, and people who are starting up on servers that maybe you want to start with something like this, at least until something better can be found, because this is not flawless, but it's an idea, and it's a start. And these, this is all concrete. Concrete's got an awesome new shade on it. And I did not use the wedge tips. It's the concrete wedge steep corners, and they're placed as far apart as you could possibly get them. I uh, pay no attention to where I put the junk turret. Um, they're placed as far apart as possible, but I would recommend playing around with the design. It seems like this one might work better than this design. I'm not really sure, but that's what I have so far. Anyway. I will leave it up to far better people to try and figure out the rest of this. I already did a little preliminary stuff. The uh, plates right here, still not a path that they can take. The opened um, 
The open hatches, for some reason now, are not considered an, a path. Uh, I don't know why they're not considered a path. They were before. Uh, at least as far as I remember. Or maybe they weren't. Well, either way, they're not now. This is still not a path, and this is not a path. So this, those can't work as pathing things. This would have worked really well if I had to get them to move. But maybe adding this kind of thing, along with a sharp t turn in the pathing for them, might work better. I don't know. Um, I will leave that up to the community to decide what to do with this information. Anyway, I will see you next time. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and you stay shiny.